this year at Little Dragon's Flames, and welcome back to Agatha Christie's ABC Murders. The last episode, we solved a stupid puzzle that got me confused. <laughs> it was a puzzle fan of puzzles. Oh, I hate that kind of puzzles. And this one, I have no idea. So, sorry, everyone. How much are your letters, please? A letter? That'll be five pence, kind sir. All right. And what if I take two? Well, two are ten pence, so what do you want? Nothing, thank you. They do not look very fresh. Did you know Alice Asher well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot, the detective. You're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you're here about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Did you speak to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. I'm going to ask her to cooperate. Please, try and help me, madame. Why should I help you? For your beautiful moustache? Heh. <laughs> Come on, move along now. You're scaring away my customers. Please, do not be ridiculous. I know that Alice Asher bought strawberries from you yesterday. Well, you know more than I do, then. Run along now. I have work to do. She thinks I'm going to give up talking to her. Nope. <laughs> oh, you again? I've nothing to say. Fine, I'll go away. I'll tell you, your stuff sucks. <laughs> hey, Poirot. Is the greengrocer causing trouble? I'll sort her out. No, please, leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. I found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. Yes, I'll question her. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. I don't wanna. My brain hurts while you do that. Perhaps. Mrs. Asher was killed here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Time to go talk to her. <laughs> Jap had the body removed out of respect for the victim's niece. His attention is commendable. Yes, it's really nice of him. Now it's time to question her. Let's inspect her first. Is her grief sincere? She appears to be very upset. She's dressed in mourning. She looks for Jive. So what, you're, you're gonna be a, a detective to take advantage of her now? Come on! <laughs> Alright, let's question her, everyone. No, I'm not interested in a man to stop crying. He ain't gonna help anything. You were very fond of your aunt, am I right? She was the only family I had since my mother died.
If you are our only relative, you will be the only one who inherits. Sir, my aunt was poor. And in any case, I'm not interested in any legacy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My apologies. I see that you mean what you say. <laughs> Let's see. Ask if Alice was afraid of her husband. Ask if she ever thought the husband would go through with his threat. I'm going to ask if she was ever afraid of her husband. Was your aunt afraid of her husband? He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid of him. Why, he used to slink away when she turned on him. He was afraid of her, if you like. Oh-ho! See, say that... Divorce would have been a solution, or ask if Alice was all right. Uh, I don't know on this one, everyone. Write down a comment below what your choice would have been. Now I'm gonna go ask if Alice was all right. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, I. I'm gonna say that divorce was would have been a solution. Enjoy good ass. She had a bad throat, but she was well cared for by a doctor in London. Does Franz Asher work? All he's done for years is drink and gamble, but he used to be a very good cabinet maker. What does he live on? My aunt used to give him five shillings a week. Oh. -ho. I don't know if she forced him, you know? If he get he forced her, you know what I mean? Did Francesca extort this money from her? No, no. She didn't let him intimidate her. She gave the money quite willingly. He was her husband. She couldn't leave him with nothing. I understand. You have been of great assistance, mademoiselle. Please take this young lady home. My pleasure. Well, this Franz Asher does not seem to be quite so dangerous as Jap sex. And since Alice Asher gave him money regularly, it was not in his interest to kill her. So perhaps... <laughs> Don't ask, I had to do it again. So perhaps perhaps it wasn't the husband, which I knew it wasn't to begin with because why would you? We have to wait for him to sleep it off. He's all yours, Poro. There are a few things I need to check. That must be some way of sobering him up. I wonder what his wife used to do. He must have scared the customers away. Let's see what he could have done. Um... This is definitely not now the bookshelf there. It's Ali Sasha's notebook. Ah, that's interesting. It probably contains information about our possible debtors and creditors. Poor 
Hardly. The fruit seller has debts too. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Yes. Mary Drower was me. telling the truth. Mrs. Asher regularly gave money to her alcoholic husband. So now that we know that. <laughs> A box of new stockings. How do I sober this drunky up? He's not in any condition to be questioned. I have to find a way to sober him up. Got some water? We can always pour that on him. <laughs> that usually seems to work. <laughs> so perhaps for now, I'll let him sleep and I'll go talk to the neighbor again. I don't know, everyone. What do you all think? What do you think murdered her? Was it the greedy neighbor? Was it the drunken alcoholic husband? The grieving niece? Or by whoever else we find in this damn game? <laughs> Questions? The choice is yours to answer. Write down the comments below if you know who it actually is. Write down spoilers. If you have an idea who it might be, write down below. Don't write down who it actually is. I know I told you to, but don't do it that way. <laughs> Moving on. I'm going to accuse her of uh, the murder. I am I accusing am. you of the murder of Mrs. Asher. What? It wasn't me! According to the victim's account book, you owed her ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. That's a lie! She owed me one pound! I swear! I'm going to accuse her of lying. Enough lies. It's not lies, but you're not quite as clever as what you think. Now, please be so kind as to explain this. Look at my account book. Alice owed me 11 pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. She owed me one pound, and that reminds me I have to get it back from her niece. That is quite enough. Your account book has saved you. But I might ask Chief Inspector Jap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. Do you want to go to prison? Prison? Now that's not fair. I haven't done nothing. In that case, I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Oh. Listen, I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. At what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. But you did not see her. She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries on the counter and left. All right, all right, I'm going to ask the next questions for her in the next episode. Like this video, hit the like button. Hot comments. This is actually getting really interesting, everyone. And as always, as always, you know what? Write down in the comments below if you want to see me play. What you want to see me do more in this game up, or what games you want to see me play. And as always, I'll holler at you the next full moon. Oh, see ya! Up my pants. They took my pants. I don't know where they're my pants are at now, but I'll find it. So they're in my pants, especially designed pants. <laughs>